Hello, Smegger, it's bringing you a another Black 2 White 2 battle. This is a UU battle between myself and Robotnik Sexy. We had this a while back, and I was planning for this to be the third of the three battles between him and I, but I had to upload some battles in the beginning time because this was a bitch to narrate. So hopefully it's going to be just, it's going to be, hopefully it's going to be easy now because I've got my bulmers in my hand and I've also got some congratulations, not congratulations. Celebration sweets in my hand as well, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good now. Unfortunately, I left this team preview thing on really, really long, and it's going to have a bit of like 15 extra seconds of it. So while I'm going to be wasting all that time, I'm asking, can any of you guys make me an intro? Like a pretty cool, you know, one of them really cool intros, like, you know, comes out and it's like, bam, but not with dubstep, not. Like, well, I'll, I'll find my own musical thing to go with that. And if you're interested, please hit me up on the YouTube or the Skype or whatever. So, it's a UU. I'm starting off with Bronzong. He's starting off with a Porygon 2, I think. Obviously, it's not Porygon 2 because no trace. And he's actually going to go for Flamethrower, which is actually going to do about half to my Bronzong. Now, this is no special defense investment Bronzong at all. This is actually a heat proof Bronzong, which is the reason why I took a flamethrower really goddamn well. I spec flamethrower at that. So, what I'm going to do, I, choi I, I tricked him with choice band, because I thought, you know, if he wants to go for flamethrower on his Zorok, then if he wants to go for flamethrower again after I choice band him, then it won't do as much damage, and then I can get a gyro ball off. But no, he's going to say they're fabulous. The gay copper grigs. And I'm going to do absolutely fuck all with that gyro ball, because I think um, copper grigs and Bronzong have the same, or about the same base speed. So, yeah, it's not going to do. And, um, Copper Gregus has a lot of base defense. So, I'm going to switch out right now. I'm going to go to my Derpic! Oh god, I need to smack my glass over the floor. That would crap, wouldn't it? I'm going to out my Derpic. I don't know why I brought a psychic type or a ghost type, but whatever. He's going to do a double switch to go to his Rock, and I'm just going to go for the Surf. He's not got the Specs in the war, and he's not got the Night Days, so Dark Horse is not going to try to kill me. I'm going to be able to kill him off with a Surf. Now, what I could have done here was I could have switched out because, you know, I do have the Regenerator. I am Specs, but you know, I have the Regenerator sort of out back, but I thought. Now, what if he, like, sets up a substitute or sword stance or bulk of whatever the fuck he's got and, you know, sets up on me? So, I'm going to go into my special defensive wall, but with it, it's got but it's got Intimidate, so, you know, lower the special defense. No, what am I on about? Ah! But anyway, I'm going to go to him on top, and I'm going to set up a substitute because I'm thinking he probably won't be able to do anything to me, and I'm just praying that he wouldn't bring out Cofagrigus. He does bring out Cofagrigus, and the only thing I actually really have to hit him is the Sucker Punch, and I was thinking, well, I suppose he's going to like go for the attack move because he doesn't want me to keep my sub. Go for the Sucker Punch, but no. I'm just going to switch out to the Blastoise. And I'm thinking, well, the only move I actually got is Seismic Toss, because I thought, yeah, Seismic Toss would be great, because I don't know what I was thinking. I just, like, probably was high when I made the hit on top. It was like, max XP, max push defense, substitute, rapid spin, Seismic Toss, and... Sucker Punch, so I don't even know, probably not high, but I don't even know. So, I'm gonna bring out well, he's actually gonna roar me out into the crocodile, and he's, I'm, I'm thinking, you know what, if I surf, if I, if I switch out, he's just gonna roar me again, but he can be to the, you know, switch out, so I'm gonna the earthquake. He's actually gonna go for the scold, and I was like, please don't burn, please don't burn, it doesn't burn, I was like, thank god, now I was just hoping that the earthquake was gonna kill, but it doesn't quite kill. And I was like, oh, and there's no hope of me living at the skull, seeing how much the first skull is, and that's what Crocodile down. I really do like Crocodile, but he's not really done a whole lot for me. And I say that about Garboda, but Crocodile, to be quite honest, quite honest, quite honest, is cooler. So, I'm going to bring out the Nido King now, and I I mentioned in my old battle, one of my older battles that I love Nido King, favourite generation po one Pokemon, and he actually does some work in this game, because he didn't in the last game, because he kind of got annihilated by like a Hydra or something like that, but now he's just going to do a, a bit of work, he's going to kill that Blastoise Granted that was on like 1 HP or something, but he's going to bring out the Copper Gragas, and that's going to take quite a lot from the Earth Power. Seeing how bulky Copper Gragas is, it does have better defence than special defence, but it does have reasonably good special defence, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm actually timid, not modest, so I haven't got the extra power that modest gives me, I might, I might change that up, but you know, never know, whatever. So, I'm going to bring up the Porygon 2, which is actually going to trace my sheer force, which is really scary, because he's got, like, bolt beam combo, boosted by sheer force, which is... Porygon 2's got pretty good special attack, and he's also a gravity set, which tells me... Okay, this thing's got blizzard and thunder or zap cannon, so sheer force boosted them are going to be really painful, so I'm just thinking, like, Cabalion, I'm guessing you could probably take a zap cannon or thunder or whatever he carries and goes to take your swords, just to do some damage and all that, and it's going to do some reasonable damage to the Regigigat. No! That nickname really confused me. Registeel, that's it. So he's going to go for the dynamic punch, obviously because gravity is going to be able to hit better, and... 
I did get confused, but it added absolutely nothing. So I was thinking, right, I actually want you to go for the zap cannon. I was hoping you would have gone for the zap cannon because it's in the trick room and it always paralyzes. You know, I'll be the fastest thing on the pitch because a paralyzed bronze amp is pretty slow and Gyro Ball will do, be doing quite a lot of damage, but it wouldn't really do that much damage to the Regi Gigas. No! Registeel! It's called Registeel, Edward! Edward? Oh, Jesus Christ. No, it's Fenton, but whatever, you get my drift. And um, I'm actually going to break out my computer and actually go for the trick because I don't particularly want the Copper Grigus to just. I don't know why I checked the Copper Grigus, but maybe checking Copper Grigus is always a good thing, but he's actually good at specs, and Copper Grigus actually does have reasonable, good, neat, good special attack. He's come out in base 95, I didn't even know, so he's going to kill my bronze off. And now, because the trick room's gone, I'm just going to bring in Nido King, and I was thinking, right, let's get out your broom and do a little bit of sweeping, because I'm fairly certain that you'll be able to do quite a lot of damage to his team, because he's, I know, he's got, he's got, He's got this Porygon 2, and I'm pretty scared of this Porygon 2 because I don't carry the focus buff. I was thinking, right, hope we get the Kirit Earth power, or he misses, or go for the gravity or something, think he'll live better. But no, he's just going to go Blizzard, and God, he misses, and I'm going to be able to kill him off with an Earth power. And I was like, yes, I'm on top! This is going well, he's only got Regis Steel, and he's only got me and Shao left. I can, like, annihilate him, uh, Regis Gigas. No! Oh my god, Regis Steel! I just said Regis Steel a second ago! Regis Steel! With the Earth Power doing a lot of damage to that thing, Registeel is pretty bulky. And he's going to go for Dynamic Punch, miss, and here is where I misclick like an absolute bitch. I was supposed to go for the Earth Power, take out the Registeel, and then do some damage to the Mian Shao, because I'm fairly certain that he won't be able to kill me, and then probably win the game right then and there. But I actually go for the Ice Punch, that, the Ice Beam rather, and the Registeel is going to live that like a pro, and he's going to get the, he's actually going to hit the Dynamic Punch, get the Confusion, and I make a bit of a misplay here. I could have just, uh, well, I don't make a misplay here. I go for the Earth Power, thinking, right, I can probably, like, hit out the Confusion, then it'll be all fine, then the misclick will be all right. But no, I'm not going to hit myself with Confusion, and this is the turn where I make the misplay, and I go, oh, I'm going to have to switch out, can't risk myself getting confused. Like, what I should have done, th that misclick really did put me off balance in this game. I was like, no! I was cursing at my own stupidity. And basically, that, as well as that little misplay of switching out into hit on top, cost me the game. Because he's going to be able to set the substitute and some couple of sword dances. And there's really nothing I could do from that. So, if I kept Nido King in and got the Earth Power and just risked it, then I, you know, hopefully would have snapped that confusion or, you know, got the like, got hit through the confusion, broke the sub, and then, you know, he wouldn't have been able to hurt me because his only attacking moves are high jump kick and stone edge, which Nido King resists. So I was feeling, ah, so basically I just threw this game, and uh, you know me, guys, I'm I'm very good at throwing games, and unfortunately the Super Punch is not really going to kill the thing, so I was kind of hoping, Hydro Kick will miss, of course it will, but he's actually holding a wide lens, so he's not going to miss a Hydro Kick, it's like a 1% chance, or 0.1% chance of missing Hydro Kick with a wide lens, although I'm sure if there were a couple of people playing, they would miss, and I might miss, you never know, but I know a couple of people that might, you know, very well miss, even with 0.1% chance to miss, and, well, that's just people, you know. So anyway, I'm not going to be able to take a plus 3 Swords Dance because he Intimidate or my Nido King, and that is basically good game because he's going to be able to take out all my team. So anyway, that was a good game, Robotnik and Sexy, as per usual, we do have very good games indeed. Thank you all for watching, everyone. Hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to check out the channel. He's a sound cookie indeed. And if any of you guys want to make me the intro sort of thing of corners, then, you know, whack me the YouTube, not the YouTube thing, what am I about? Whack me a YouTube PM or Skype thing. I do have an idea of uh, how long I want it to be and um, the song, the intro song I've got an idea of. Actually, I'm going to play you a little sample right now, if you'll just give me one second. Okay, so that's about the length of the uh, intro which I'm thinking, and if you're thinking, well, I could do that, so, yeah, I could, I could do that, that'd be awesome. Obviously, I will, like, you know, advertise your channel in some description, you know, a little channel box thing, you know, where you say awesome people with the box and all the channels. I'll put you in there if you can make me an intro, that's really cool. So if you actually feel like, you know, making me an intro, then I'll send it in, I'm some, I don't know how probably like mega upload or something like that, I don't even know, and then give me the link and I'll download it and that'd be awesome, but 
Anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to go, go and have a look at Robotic Sexy. He's very sexy indeed. Hence the name. Thank you all for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another Pokemon Battle. Goodbye. Or maybe not even a Pokemon Battle. Maybe a Golden Simplex. Maybe a Pokemon Vietnamese Crystal. Which I've actually been recently starting in about a week. So maybe a Pokemon Battle. Goodbye.